Welcome back to my tip of the week. This week, uh, I've had a few inquiries on how I finish off the bottom of a quilt when I'm using red snappers. They say, well, don't those snappers take up part of the quilt edge? And yes, they do. So you don't want to quilt the entire quilt pass and have just that one inch unquilted because that would look silly on your quilt. What I do, and I do this regardless of how it's attached, if it was basted or, or pinned, I would still do it the same way. When I have quilted the entire quilt and I get to where there's just one pass left, then I take the clamps off. And you can see I have a, a lot of slack in the back of the quilt right now. And that's good because there's a lot of slack here in the top of the quilt. And you always want your slack uh, to equal each other on the front and the back. So I get this so that it lays flat. This one has a little bit of a uh, ruffly border. I do my best to adjust it in there. Um, I have lots of tips for all of this in my class called hip to be square. Um, now I just add a few pins like this and I have no slack on the back. I'm saying that again because it's really important. So I pin that down. I baste along the edge of the bottom of the quilt just like I did at the very top of the quilt when I got started. Once that's basted, then I tighten up my tension because then the top and the bottom are pulled as one unit once this is basted together. If I did it right now, I'm pulling the bottom, but nothing is pulling the top, and that's not good. So that's how I do it. It takes just a second to pull off the red snappers, baste that down, and then finish the last pass of the machine, I mean of the quilt. So that's it.